Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. We're going over Lesson 11, talking about the human body, right? But more specifically, wow, that's tall. So we're talking about a person who's really tall in this lesson. We will focus on learning about, <clears throat> excuse me, learning about Robert Wadlow. Robert Wadlow. Who is Robert Wadlow? He's the tallest man in history. Robert Wadlow was really, really tall. So in this lesson, we'll learn about him. But first, we should go over the vocabulary. Number one, who is this guy? The young kid, right? He's going like this, right? He is a boy who helps people. Wears a uniform. He has a number on his sleeve according to the group he belongs to. Who is he? He's a Boy Scout. A Boy Scout. Boy Scout is a boy who helps people. Boy Scout. It's two words. So, Boy Scout. Boy Scout. Okay. Number two, we have a picture of Abraham Lincoln, a, an American president a long time ago, right? When we think about what happened long ago. We think about the stories of people's lives and events that happened a long time ago. We are talking about history. History. Not his story. No. History. History. Okay? Three. If somebody makes a shirt or pants or something that is made just for you. Only for you, right? <laughs> Only for you. It's made just for you. Not anybody else. Only for you. What do we say? It is custom. So if a person makes a shirt and measures just your body and makes a shirt just for you, that's a custom shirt. Many times if you're walking around your city, you might see the words custom tailor on some shops. A custom tailor. A tailor, tailor is this person here. A person who makes clothing. And custom, they measure it, they make it just for you. So it's very common when people make clothes, you can see custom tailor. Okay, next word. These are different, well, lots of different pictures here, right? But look at this. It says USA 10 cents. In Korea, you don't usually use these very often. When you go to the post office, they just use a stamp nowadays. I, I'm just a, like a, a chunk chunk, right? They just uh, punch your letter. But a long time ago, you could buy one of these. It's what we use to send a letter. And, of course, I said it before, it's a stamp. Uh, a stamp is a small uh, thing. It's like a sticker, right? You know the word sticker. And you, you lick the back of it and you put it on your envelope. Of course, in America, people lick it. In Korea, they use the glue, right? And they put it onto the pyeonji, the envelope, okay? But a lot of times in Korea, you guys don't use stamps anymore. When I go to the post office, right, the lady, she goes, she takes a big stamp, it's called a stamp, but boom, and it puts the ink on the letter. It's not a small stamp, a small piece of paper that I glue, okay? So it's maybe more efficient that way. Okay, but the stamp is what you put on the letter, and people still use stamps in some places. Five, wow, look at this. There's a really small guy here and a really big guy here. Of course, it's trick photography, right? They're, they're using trick photography. Trick photography. Trick photography. It's where the photographer, you know, they move them. Well, he's close. He's far, right? So it's trick photography. But anyway, if you think about this, this person is a very big person. If these two people were at the same distance, not like this, but same, wow, he would be huge. What would he be? He would be a giant, giant, giant. So somebody who's really big or really big this way or really tall, we call that person 
a giant. Okay. Now, here we have not special. Not special family, we just say it's normal. This is a normal family. Many families, you know, mother, father, three kids, two kids, you know, that's a normal family. Mother, father, two or three kids, that's very normal. That's average. That's very common. It's normal. Normal. Okay? The next one here, what is this man doing? He's looking up at the surface at the top of the room. It's the part of a room above your head. Of course, we know we have the floor under us. We have walls to the side. But what do we call that on top of us? What is that uh, area of the room that's above our head? We call it a ceiling. 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 So ceiling. It's like C, same pronunciation, different spelling. Ceiling. 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 Very easy. It's the part of the room that's over your head. Ceiling, walls, floor. Okay. The next one here, to gather and save. Remember we were talking about stamps before? These are many types of stamps. Some people like to gather, <laughs> to gather these stamps, I almost said the word, to gather these stamps together and to save them. Maybe they put them in a book. Other people will gather and save coins, like old coins. Some people will gather and save butterflies or other types of bugs. There's many things that you can collect. Collect. Oh, and when you say it, don't say collect, say c. Collect. 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 So there's many things that you can collect. You can collect stamps. You can collect coins. You can collect insects, right? Bole, <laughs> okay? But when you collect these things, that's the verb. When you have them all together, you can call it a collection. Collection. Collection, that's noun, right? So verb is to collect, but the collection, all of those things together, that's a noun. Do you want to see my stamp collection? I have a big coin collection, okay? So maybe you have a collection. Some people like to, to play that uh, card game, right? Uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, but you have the different cards, the different characters, and you can, I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh, something like that, Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm not sure. But people will collect those cards. So there's many, many things that you can collect and you can have a collection. Okay. Number nine. Oh, look at these two kids, right? Not short. Okay, so one kid is short. Maybe she's younger. The older kid, maybe he's older, but he's what? He's tall. Okay, tall. And when we compare them, he is taller than she is. So taller, if you're going to compare. Tall and taller. Short, short, Er, right? Short, shorter, tall, taller. Okay? So if you're going to compare them. 10. A place to go and buy things. To go and buy things. If you go to a place like this, what do you call that? It's not a supermarket. This is not a supermarket. It's a store. And there's many small stores downtown, right? You can go in and you can buy certain things. It's a store. Of course, we can say a supermarket is a store, but this is not a supermarket. This is a store. So there are different kinds of stores, different types of stores. Clothing store, toy store, uh, grocery store. Okay, there's many different types of stores. 11. Okay, so what's going on here? To do something for someone else. To do something for someone else. Uh, what, what is he doing? He is doing what for her, right? He is doing something for her. He is helping her. So the man is helping the woman. The woman is not helping the man, right? <laughs> She's making it more difficult for the man. But the man is helping her. Maybe he's moving her boxes, her clothes, her things from one place to another. So when you help somebody, right? Somebody says, can you help me? 
can you help carry this box? Sure, I can help you, okay? Remember the first word we learned was Boy Scout, a boy who helps other people. To help somebody, to do something for someone else. Next one, does your closet look like this? Are there many shirts in your closet, many pants, many socks, right? Soft cloth that we wear on our bodies. What do we call? Of course, they, these are called shirts, but we want to talk about not just shirts, but pants, socks, maybe a hat, gloves, all of these things. What do we call them? We call them clothes. Now, maybe that's a bit himduro, palam, palam himduro, right? It's a little difficult to pronounce. We say CL, cl, clothes. T H E S, that's a bit of a difficult pronunciation. Close, close. Think about this. Do you know this word here? Close, close the door. That's easy, right? Close the door. This is the same pronunciation. Close. I am wearing clothes. But remember, close is a noun. Close here is a verb. So make sure you spell it correctly, right? And think about the difference, right? You're not closing the door, you're wearing clothes. But it's the same pronunciation. Clothes. How many clothes do you have? Are you wearing nice clothes today? Or are you wearing casual clothes? Casual clothes is like shorts, right? Banpaji shorts and a t-shirt. That's casual clothes. Nice clothes or formal clothes is a nice business shirt, long pants, nice shoes. Okay, so you can wear different types of clothes, many different kinds of clothes. Okay, 13, to be the right size. This woman wants to buy a dress. She wants to buy a dress that's not too big, not too small, right? But it should do what? It should fit. It should fit her. It fits her. Fit, in this case, is a verb. It fits her. If we say that, if we say it, oh, sorry, if, if we say it fits her, it's the right size. It's not too big, not too small, right? If you move, ah, I broke it, you rip it, right? It's just the right size, it fits you. So, does it fit? When you go to the store, you try on a shirt, you try on pants, think about, does it fit? It fits you well, it's the right size. Number 14, something to sit on. So it looks like this. This is, of course, is in a car, right? Or maybe on a bus, okay? But also you have another one in your room that has legs, not as comfortable, but it's also, you could also call it that. It's a seat, a seat. Something to sit on, it's a seat. You could also say uh, a chair is a place to sit on, but a chair has a seat, right? Uh, where can I sit? Many people say, is there a seat on the bus? Is there a seat in the restaurant? There are no seats. That means no place to sit down. No place to sit down. No seats, no place to sit on. So it's seat, seat. Okay, next one, number 15. Cute girl, right? Wear your face, her face, her hair, and ears are. But also, you know, faces, eyes, nose, and mouth, chin, cheeks, right? Where are all these things? Where do we say? They're on our head. These things are on our head. Our ears, face, hair, that's all on our head, right? Anything above the neck is our head. Last word. Oh, nice picture, all right? A mother or a father. This is a family, right? We have father, mother, child. What do we call just the mother or the father? There's a word we use just to say like one person, right? Whether it's a man or a woman, doesn't matter. It means they have a child. What do we call them? 
we call them a parent. A parent. A parent is a mother or father. So parent doesn't mean namja or yoja. It can be both, right? Parent is namja rang yoja. We don't know. You just say parent. Who is the parent of this child? There's a father and a mother. There's one parent, two parents, right? There's two parents. But we just say parent. Father is namja. Mother is yoja, right? Uh, woman. So, and father is man. But parent doesn't matter. It, it can be man or woman. Okay, that wraps up the words. Let's go over the exercises. In this exercise, we have complete each sentence with a word from the box. So we have the sentences here. We have a blank. We need to use one of these words to fill in the blanks. Let's go over the words. The words are Boy Scout, Boy Scout. Second word, stamps, stamps. Next one, normal, normal, okay? Next one is collect, collect. This one down here, history, history. Next one, custom, custom. The next one is ceiling, ceiling, and the next one is giant, giant, okay? Number one, Robert was as tall as a tree. How tall are trees? Go outside, look at a tree. Oh my gosh, it's really tall. So if somebody is as tall as a tree, he was a what? What was he? Was he a Boy Scout? That doesn't make sense because Boy Scouts are, are usually short. You know, Boy Scouts are different uh, heights. Boy Scouts aren't as tall as a tree. Who is as tall as a tree? Of course, a giant is as tall as a tree. He was a giant, right? If a person is as tall as a tree, they're really big, really tall. They are a giant. Number two, we study beep to learn about the past. About the past, things that happened a long time ago, right? What is that? That, of course, is history. We study history to learn about the past. Okay, number three. Robert was a beep baby. He was small and cute. Now, babies <clears throat> are small and cute. That's ordinary, right? All, most babies, almost all babies, are small and cute. That's not different. That's typical. That is normal. That's usual, right? The usual case. He was a normal baby. There was nothing special or different about him. He was a normal baby, small and cute. Number four, he was so tall, so tall that, right? When you use so, you're expecting to hear that. So tall that, so cold that, so hot that, okay? He was so tall that his head touched the what? right? If you're in a room, there's a floor on the bottom, walls on the side, but think about a giant, somebody who's really tall. Their head touches what? What's on the top there? Of course, ceiling. He was so tall that his head touched the ceiling, okay? Number five, Robert had beep clothes. What kind of clothes? We need to look at the second sentence. They were made just for him, just for him. So remember, if something is made just for you, it is custom. Robert had custom clothes. They were made just for him. Okay, number six. He has all kinds of coins, right? Somebody who gathers many different types of coins. He likes to do what? Of course, if he gathers these many different types of coins, he has a large collection of coins, it means he likes to collect. He likes to collect them. So he has a large collection. Okay, number seven. Robert was a beep and he could help people. So Robert was a what? A person who helps people. Which one is a person who helps people? It's over here, isn't it? Robert was a Boy Scout, and he could help people. Okay. And eight, 
you need beep to mail a letter. We talked about that, right?、Uh, of course, people don't use them in Korea that often these days, but a while ago, and you can still get them, right? It's a little piece of paper. You put glue on the back and you stick it to your pyeonji, your envelope. What is it? It's stamp, right? You need stamps to mail a letter. Maybe one stamp, maybe several stamps, right? If you have to get the right number, right? So of course people had to buy the right number of stamps. That was a little himdoro. So nowadays they you did they just、uh, use the stamper, tung tung, and it gives you the exact amount how much you need. And that's why people don't use stamps that much anymore because it's easier. Okay, but anyway, those are our words. We're going to need to know those words for the reading, which is coming up soon after the break. So don't go away.